How you guys doing today? Welcome to SB252. Please make sure you like this video, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification button to make sure you're notified every time I post a new video. Now, I came out here today because I want to talk about a very serious topic in the NFL. It, it, it's taking over all the headlines in the NFL, and it's time for us to talk about this on SB252 because enough is enough. Now, just on Saturday, if you guys haven't heard, President Trump came out and said some very controversial statements about kneeling and the NFL and these players. He said that those SOBs should be kicked off the football team and fired or either suspended for kneeling. Now, President Trump, and you've also said at times that if you kneel, that makes you un-American. Listen. Kneeling does not make you un-American. In fact, it makes you more American than ever if you kneel. And here's why. You're exercising your First Amendment right. And what Donald Trump did this Saturday was an assault on the First Amendment. And I have to ask Mr. Trump this. If you are assaulting the First Amendment and you're the President of the United States, that doesn't sound very American to me. I'm questioning because you, those statements don't sound American. The people who are kneeling are more American to him, than him in this instance. I mean, listen, a lot of these men that are kneeling have family members that are in the military. I have family members who are in the military. As a matter of fact, my own father was in the military. I am a biracial individual. My father's black and my mom is Caucasian. And so I can understand both sides of the argument. I get the point. I understand. I grew up in a 99% white area. But in that area, I was not considered biracial. I was considered black. In that area. But in the area I live in now, which is a multicultural area, I'm considered biracial. So in certain areas, I'm labeled as different things. But in the area I was raised, I, I also, I was mistreated just because of the color of my skin. I know what it's like to be called the N-word. I know what it's like for people to look down on me. I know what it's like to, to go to school and, 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 and to be treated in a terrible mannerism and not be treated at the level of others. I know what it's like myself personally. Myself personally, me and my brother have actually protested, not the national anthem, but the Pledge of Allegiance in school before uh, this whole NFL thing when we were kids because we didn't feel as if we were being treated properly. And we got a negative response. But who is this negative response coming from? It's coming from the people who treated us bad and didn't treat us with equality. Those are the people who criticized us, which were teachers, other students, and all those type of people. So my point is this. In one area, like I said, I'm considered one thing. In another, I'm considered something else. My point is this. It is unimportant what race you are, whether it's black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, African, all races, it doesn't matter. This is not about races. This is not about the kneel for the flag. The point being is this. It's about equality. Equality for all. That's what's most important and that is what we must remember. We must not be distracted by the kneels that these players are doing or the stance that they're making. We must remember the ultimate cause is to stop this type of injustice that's going on and not just towards blacks. I know a lot of people have been criticizing Black Lives Matter by saying, what, are black lives the only lives that matter? No, the Black Lives Matter movement is saying, hey, listen, black lives matter as well. They matter too, because it seems as if a good portion of America has forgotten that. Now, I understand the classical stance of, of a majority of white America, not, I won't say majority, but of a good portion of white America that says, hey, listen, we believe in standing for the flag. And, and, that, and that's it. There, there's no changing that. And, and 
we believe that. We believe that's respect for the military. We believe that's respect for the flag. I respect that. I, I really do. I respect those people because I know I grew up around people like that. I believe that. And, and I respect those people and I appreciate those people. But you can't force that and, and say that that's American for someone who doesn't kneel. I mean, for someone who doesn't stand just because they kneel, you can't say they're not American and that they're SOBs. Like the president said, you can't say that because they're exercising the First Amendment right. That's the beauty of America. You can do what you would like to do and you have the freedom to do it. That's what makes America so great. So I'm very glad that these players exercise the First Amendment right and we must continue to exercise the First Amendment right. And that's what I'm doing here today on the show. And I appreciate you guys listening. I hope you guys have a great day as well. And I hope we continue to propel forward and, and come together and realize the major issue is not the flag. The major issue is, is, is not any of that. It's not race. The major issue is just equality for everyone and for all of mankind. So you guys have a wonderful day. And I appreciate you guys watching the video.